first let's take a look at one of the worst ways to write the date. This could mean the 11th of December 2010, this could also mean November 12, 2010. Or 2011 December 10. This could also mean 11th of December 1910. Or November 12, 1910. Or 1911 December 10. Or 11th of December 2110. Or November 12, 2110. Or 2111 December 10. As you can see this is a very bad format to use. This would be a better format to use since it has a four-digit year which clearly identifies that part as the year eliminating the possibility of meaning 2011 December 10. This also confirms what century it is in, however it is still unclear whether this means 11th of December 2010 or November 12, 2010. There are many situations of people who have missed important meetings or handed in assignments late because the person writing the date has assumed it will be read one way and the person reading the date has assumed it has been written the other. This problem goes away once you are past the 12th day of the month. If one number is larger than 12 then that number must be the day because there are only 12 months in a year. However if both the numbers are 12 or less then you have no way of telling which way around it has been written. If the month and the day are both the same number then it doesn't matter which way around you read it. This means that this problem will occur 11 days each month. Luckily International Standards Organization have come up with a solution to all these problems called ISO 8601 which goes YYYY-MM-DD. This format is unambiguous because it starts with a four-digit number which clearly defines the system being used, year-month-day is also the standard in much of East Asia, year-month-day is also apparently used in countries such as South Africa, Sweden, and Canada. Year-month-day is also known in other countries due to ISO 8601. Year-month-day is becoming increasingly popular online. Year month day is also used on many devices that do not give you the option to change the date format. Year month day is also used on international shipping to avoid misinterpretation in different countries. Year month day is also used on device manufacture dates. Here is a list of dates in year month day, month day year, and day month year all of which are sorted by name. If you look at year month day you will see that they are sorted perfectly in order. If you look at day month year you will see that they are a complete scrambled mess which makes it very difficult to find anything, this happens because by putting the day first you are making the day the most important part, therefore the computer will sort the days in order and ignore the month unless two days are the same, and will only look and the year if the day and the month are the same. This is the exact opposite to what you would want. If you look at the month day year format you will notice that the month and the day are sorting in the correct order but the years are not, apart from when the month and day happen to be the same. Here we have year month day but with a two digit year. The computer has done what you would expect and sorted the two digit numbers in order from smallest to largest. However 03 is actually 2003 and 98 is actually 1998 therefore 98 should come before 2003. This caused problems in the year 2000 because many systems could not handle the fact that 00 came after 99. Another thing is that here 26 means 1926, 38 means 2038. 58 means 35 58 and 06 means 1706 which you cannot tell by looking at these numbers. This further shows why two digit years must never be used. A lot of people think that the day month year system is logical because it goes in ascending order from smallest to largest, however this is not the case. When writing the year 2016 we write it just like any other number, we write the thousands, then the hundreds, then tens, then the ones. It is never written six years, one decade, zero centuries, and two millenniums.
when we apply this same logic the day-month-year system no longer seems quite so logical, the elements themselves are in ascending order from smallest to largest, however the digits within each elements are in descending order from largest to smallest. If we go in order from left to right it goes tens of day which is not the smallest or the largest digit, then it goes down to day which is the smallest digit, then up to tens of month which is bigger than what we started on, then down to month, then up to millennium which is the biggest digit, then down to century, then down to decade, then down to year. The smallest digit is second and the biggest digit is somewhere in the middle, this is why the day-month-year format is the least logical out of the three. Now let's move on to the month-day-year format. This is not as bad as the day-month-year format, however it is still not very logical. We start with the tens of month, then go down in order until we get to day, then we go up to millennium, then down in order to year. Both the largest digit and the smallest digit are right next to each other in the middle. If you look at the year-month-day format you can see that it goes down in perfect logical descending order, the largest digit which is the millennium is at the beginning and the smallest digit which is the day is at the end, this is why year-month-day is the most logical date format. If you want to write the time and date in day-month-year format then whatever way you do it, it makes no sense. If you put the time before the date then you start with the tens of hour which is not the biggest or the smallest digit, you then go down in descending order until you get to seconds which is the smallest digit and then go all the way up to tens of day which is bigger than what you started with. Here both the biggest and the smallest digit are somewhere in the middle which is not very logical. If you put the time after the date then you start with tens of day which is not the smallest or the largest digit, you then go down to day which is the smallest digit, then up to tens of month, then down to month, then up to millennium which is the biggest digit, then down to year in descending order, then suddenly all the way down to tens of hour which is smaller than what we started with in one big jump, then down to second in descending order. Here the millennium which is the biggest digit is somewhere in the middle, however at least the second which is the smallest digit is at the end. If you put the time before the month day year format then it starts with tens of hour which is not the biggest or the smallest digit, it then goes down in descending order to second, then up to tens of months which is bigger than what we started with, then down in descending order to day, then up to millennium which is the biggest digit, then down in descending order to year. If you put the time after the month day year format then it starts with tens of month, then goes down in descending order to day, then up to millennium which is the biggest digit, then down to year in descending order, then one big jump down to tens of hour, then down to second in descending order. If you put the time after the year month day format then it goes down in perfect logical descending order from largest digit to smallest digit. Here the millennium which is the biggest digit is at the beginning and the second which is the smallest digit is at the end. This is why year month day is the best way to write the date. When writing the date in year month day format it is important that you use a four digit year. If you just use a two-digit year then it is actually even worse than day-month-year if you live in a day-month-year country because it will most likely be misinterpreted. This particular date would most likely be misinterpreted as the 16th of April 2019 if a two-digit year was used. It is also a good idea to include a leading zero if the month or the day are less than 10. This ensures that the date will always have the same number of digits which will make things line up neater. A lot of older operating systems will not sort numbers correctly if they have a varied number of digits. When writing the date in year-month-day format you should use hyphens as separators and avoid using slashes or dots. This adds to readability and makes it permissible in file names. In conclusion the advantages of using year-month-day are, 
the fact that it is unambiguous and will not be misinterpreted. The fact that it is already widely used on the internet and lots of devices use it and it is also used on international shipping and manufacture dates. Another advantage is that it sorts correctly when used in file names, unlike month day year and day month year which are a complete scrambled mess. It is also the most logical way to write the date. And year month day is consistent with the hour minute second format and consistent with the way we write numbers. There are no advantages to using month day year. And there are no advantages to using day month year. Goodbye.